Hey guys, and welcome to the first episode of my horse ranch series. So Mallory and Jacqueline have finally made it to Chestnut Ridge and are ready to start their new lives here. Now, for those of you who aren't familiar with these characters, they are from my high school year series, but in this one, we are gonna be following Mallory's story. And the big question is why is Mallory moving to Chestnut Ridge and why is she going into this house that is clearly rough around the edges and the reason being is that after her grandfather passed, he ended up leaving both the properties he owned in Chestnut Ridge to her. And this one stood out the most to her because she sort of liked the idea of having a project and sort of rebuilding this house and making it her own. And I mean, this place requires a lot of work. Maybe not so much on the outside, but the interior is really where the help is required. I mean, the rooms are literally pretty, you know, gross looking you know we got the gross carpet got some old furniture going on here and then down here we have some broken things as well so her grandfather was actually the owner of steel winery and that's why he's super wealthy this is actually the house where his business really started it was down here in the basement that he really began his journey with you know stomping on grapes and making his wine and eventually his business grew to the point where he sort of outgrew this place and decided that it was time to expand and so he sort of said goodbye to this place for a little while but never sold it because this is where everything began and he was way too attached to just say goodbye forever and so it's sort of been sitting here for a while and over time the condition has obviously dwindled and so now we're here to sort of pick it back up. I mean, as he got older, it was obviously a lot more difficult for him to come here and take care of it. But I think we're gonna go ahead and bring in our luggage and unpack our crib for Jacqueline because she's being really fussy right now and I feel very bad. Okay, so she finished up the crib and is now putting Jacqueline to sleep because poor thing is so tired. I mean, rightfully so. I mean, we've been traveling and it's time to go to sleep. Unfortunately, in this really crusty room, but eventually I promise things are gonna be okay. While she's doing that, I think it's time for us to go ahead and, well, not really cook because we don't have a stove really to use. So I think we're gonna go ahead and order ourselves a pizza for delivery, a plain cheese pizza, and in the meantime, we can probably work on trying to repair a couple things here. If she ends up struggling with repairing, then we can obviously hire a repair service. So why don't we go ahead and try and repair? Of course, most of these things are going to end up being replaced. Oh, our pizza's here. Hold on. Let's go grab our food. I guess we'll finish repairing that a little bit later. Thank you so much. I was not about to cook with my broken stove and broken fridge. Not that we have anything anyways, so not really much we could do there. Go ahead and grab yourself a slice and probably have to take a nap too. So she did also bring a blow up mattress because there's no way she's going to be sleeping on this. What is this mold? Absolutely not. We're going to have to dump that out into the trash. Poor thing is like so tired and now has this whole house to figure out. She's going to try though. Why can't I cancel this? Watch Milestone. Wait, what? What are you learning? What's the milestone? Oh! Are you blowing kisses? Stop. I didn't even know this was a thing. Are you... Is she gonna blow one back? Oh, wait, it is! A gift of love. Jacqueline learned to blow a kiss. The sweetest display of healthy emotional development. That is the cutest thing ever. Oh, honey, you're hungry. We'll pop a little boob for you. Don't you worry. Eat up, girl. There you go. Burp it out. <laughs> she's so cute. So now that Jacqueline's taken care of, Mallory ended up coming down here and she's just staring outside and I feel like she's at the moment where she's like, did I make the right decision moving here and taking upon this whole thing? I think her coming here though is also going to be really good for personal growth as well because for those of you who do know, she had quite the hard upbringing, more so with her mom. I mean, not like, you know, she didn't have money or anything like that because she grew up in a wealthy family. Like, that's not the problem. It's the pressures that her mom put on her growing up of trying to be extremely perfect and that really just got to Mallory because Trying to be perfect all the time puts a lot of stress on you because there's no way you can be perfect. And so after the divorce, 
she sort of started to feel a little bit better and her mom wasn't constantly there to tell her what to do or anything of the sort and her dad was always very supportive of Mallory like no matter what she decided to do so her coming here he thought was a good idea although he said if you do need money and need help like be sure to call up because her dad is an engineer so he's very much well off so she is getting tired, however, so I think that we'll probably try and move this gross mattress out and start getting her fluff mattress in. So let me go ahead and get her sorted there. All right, so she's finished getting the mattress ready, so I think it's time we just head to bed. And tomorrow morning, I think we'll start picking this place up a little bit because she can't live in these conditions. So I think we probably will try and stop over into town and see what the store has in stock and maybe we can purchase something there. She also came here without a computer as well because she thought, you know, why do I need a computer? Like, what am I going to need it for? But now come to think of it, I think she might need to purchase one just to make purchases if need be or even search the internet for whatever it is. Right now, Mallory's priority is to get Jacqueline's room sorted first because you know, she's the baby and she wants to be able to have a pretty nursery for her. So that's going to be like the first order of business after we repair probably a couple of the things around here. All right, so Mallory's up bright and early. She is hungry and needs to take a shower. So before we do that, let's go ahead and take care of poor Jacqueline because she has a stinky diaper as well. So both of them are just not doing great at the moment. She's like, oh, what did I sign up for here? <laughs> Also, being a single mom is going to be a bit of a task as well because now that she's actually by herself, she doesn't have the help of her stepsister, her stepdad, or her dad. So it's going to be definitely a lot of work, especially trying to put this place back together whilst also taking care of an infant. So, you know, she has some work cut out for her. Girl, yeah, we need a, we need a shower. Put her back down. Play her a little lullaby, okay? And then we got to take care of ourselves. The way she's currently like crying in the <laughs> in the shower, she's going through it. <laughs> she's not used to this type of a rundown looking place. And then we'll have some cold pizza for breakfast. Even though this fridge is not working that great, um, it still works. Oh wait, we already have pizza out. Did you already try and get some? Oh, this one's going bad in a second. I just realized I forgot to put a trash can in this house. I seem to. That's like the main thing that I forget to do when I build houses. Is trash cans. So we might head into town and also look into potentially purchasing a handiness book because, listen, my girl doesn't really know much about all this stuff, but we can learn. So she ended up heading downstairs to eat and she's now realizing that there's like a whole nectar maker. Well, she doesn't know that this is a nectar maker. She can probably assume that that's what it is considering that she knows her grandfather is in the winery business. Oh, she was just thinking about her dad. Which we probably should call him up and tell him like we're here and that we've sort of settled in but are having a little bit of a rough time. I think she's scared to call and tell him that she's struggling a little bit. I mean, it's only been day one. We're on to day two. But she doesn't want to worry him because he'd be the type of dad that if he sees that his daughter is struggling, he'd be on the next plane over to come and, you know, help her out and everything. And she's just kind of a little bit stubborn in the sense that she wants to do this on her own and not really get any help from anybody. What I think we'll do is try and see if this TV even works and try and watch something just to get her fun up a little bit and see what's going on on here. So why don't we go ahead and watch some comedy, get her fun up, and then we can head out into town and see what's in store over there. I know, hun. At least the TV works, so that's a plus. Oh my god, wait, it actually has like lines and stuff through it. Wait, I kind of like that because it does give like aged TV. This came with the basement kit or something like that. I don't even know. All right, so our fun is up a little bit and let me go ahead and throw away this pizza because we don't need that anymore. And we can head out into town. We're obviously gonna take Jacqueline with us because we don't have anybody here to like take care of her at the moment. So, oh, she unlocked a milestone first trip to the park. I mean, this isn't really like a proper park, but you know, it is a park. So we're gonna roam around here and see what they have in store. So obviously they have a equestrian center over here, which we don't have a horse, at least not now. So maybe eventually we'll... Oh wait, I don't even notice this place here. This is like a... I was gonna say community garden, but it's not much of a garden, but it looks nice. So there is a grocery store over here. So we're gonna head over here. Oh, you're holding her now? Oh, did you just feed her? Oh, 
Well, let's go over there because I want to see what they have. She said, I'm not going to leave you in the back carrier. I'm just going to hold you. <laughs> she got her summer fit out because it's really hot today. So we're on day three of summer. All right, let's see. So we can shop for groceries and goods. I actually never ended up checking what you can purchase here. So I'm curious to see what you can get. Well, now you put in her on the ground, hun. Oh, she, she actually goes in. She left her outside. <laughs> Okay, so you can buy fruit, milk, cheese, eggs. You can buy fishing books, gardening. Oh, you can buy some on horse riding. Oh, horse Egypt tree. Oh, okay. So you, if you have that lot trait where you actually need ingredients and stuff, you could probably come here and buy some of that stuff. So it's not like you can buy everything. However, I think we will go ahead and buy a gardening book. I think we want to go ahead and try and get into that because I feel like she sort of wants to... Follow in her grandfather's footsteps and try out nectar making because why not? She's here. She has nothing really much else to do. She doesn't have a job or anything of the sort to like keep money coming in. Which is also another reason why she felt like coming here, she really had nothing to lose. She didn't really have any sort of path paved in what direction she wanted to take life in. I mean, she just recently graduated high school, so she doesn't really have many plans on what she wants to do so i think what we're gonna do is probably head home what are you doing huh what did she just do rubik's cube are you taking a photo of her actually why don't we do that i don't think i can i can almost if we step back a little bit oh there we go i mean it's not exactly what i would have wanted <laughs> it's our baby <laughs> Actually, go ahead and take a selfie too, why not? Then we can post it on a social Benny. Oh, she's a little kooky. That's kind of cute. Get any other poses? <laughs> I love how there's this pose. This is how she is internally feeling right now. <laughs> maybe we take this as like a memory of like how she's currently feeling in this moment because maybe things will change. Wait, let's see if we can actually take a better photo. Oh, I mean, it's not the best, but the baby's in it. Why do you have to take her out of the carrier to go home? I mean, okay. It is what it is. I sort of wish that with this pack, they could have made it so you don't have to own horses to like go horseback riding. Like you could maybe like, not hire a horse, but like rent a horse for the day or something like that. Cause it'd be really cute if you could have like kids go horseback riding, but I don't think you can do that. Aww. Why did you just put her down to then go home? Okay. <laughs> Makes sense, makes sense. So we weren't able to find any sort of Hania's book, unfortunately, while we were out, but then we're gonna go put Jacqueline down here and then we can maybe go and dig through the basement and see if we can find anything down in the boxes that are down there. All right, so while she was down in the basement, she ended up finding an old computer. So she can actually go ahead and start using this and hopefully we can purchase a book. Let's get handiness going. Skill. Let's start learning about handiness. I'm gonna have her read up a little bit, use it as a guide, and hopefully be able to fix some stuff here. Go ahead and do that. Oh, she's thinking about Gia. I love that. I'm actually surprised the welcome wagon didn't come. Usually they show up. Yeah, that's actually weird. I was hoping that we'd get it, but. All right, Mallory. Let's see, do you got the skill? Did you learn anything from the book? Oh, well, she reached level two of handiness. Well, she successfully finished fixing the sink so that's one thing done look at you she keeps storing everything in her suitcase because she has no space for anything else so maybe we could try and continue repairing this since you started and see if you can get this fixed i mean she's almost there so maybe <laughs> the way she has handy not dandy slinging hammers and nails left and right is not mallory's cup of tea should mallory banish the self-abuse and admit that she dislikes handiness I mean, listen, I think, yes, we can admit that we don't like it, but maybe over time she can like it, but I'll admit that she dislikes it. Sorry, hon, but you're going to have to work on it anyways, so. We just have the fridge broken right now, and then the toilet upstairs. So after that, I think we'll be pretty good. She's getting some more leftover pizza. Thankfully, pizza can last a little while. Oh my god, I cannot get over the lighting in this room once it starts getting darker. I love it here. Finish up your pizza, and then maybe we'll tackle the fridge. 
You can try and read as well while you do that. Actually, you did put it away in here. This episode is more so like her getting settled in and getting everything figured out. And the next one will probably do a little bit more exploring and like meeting people. Are you starting to like handiness? Maybe, maybe a little. Let's see if you've learned enough to be able to repair this guy. She wants to dance to stereo music. Should do that. Oh, so now she's gonna be tense every time she does it. Mallory can't stand this. When will this torment end? Sims who are doing something they dislike are susceptible to fun reduction. Well, listen, is that my fault? Is she stuck? She's stuck. Uh, <laughs> I reset her and she's still sitting. I'll be honest, my game has been acting up like crazy lately. Like, I don't know. Like, how am I supposed to fix her? I just reset her. <laughs> supposed to do <laughs> mallory girl she has some strong ass quads mallory get up girl <laughs> maybe i go map view somehow it'll fix her i don't know we have to go manage worlds girl please tell me you're fixed now okay she's fixed now okay manage worlds worked okay go repair this I know, just get over it. You have to do it, so, like, I don't know what I'm gonna tell you. It is an ideal having to do all this, but it's what you signed up for, and it's what you got. You could have picked to live at the huge winery, but the thing is, this is a lot smaller and cozier for her and Jacqueline as opposed to the other place that's much larger, which we will eventually visit, but she wanted a challenge, and so she got it. All right. Oh! <laughs> She is so mad. She's like, fine, you're fixed now, girl. If you slam it one more time, you're gonna end up making the door fall off. Go mop this up. Oh, you can't. Here, I'll mop it up for you. It's already 10 o'clock. She spent so much of her day trying to learn how to fix these appliances and thankfully she's getting the hang of it. What the? What is going on with my game? Y'all saw her just show up over here? Oh, Girl, it's just one puddle. You can clean it up. Let me go ahead and turn on some tunes since you really want to listen to music. So let's get into the ranch vibes. Let's go listen to some ranch music. Oh, she's like, oh, might as well just go ahead and clean up all the puddles. Except this one, there's no point because the toilet is still broken, which will be our order of business tomorrow to fix it. And then we'll hopefully have everything fixed as far as the house. And then we can start working on renovations within the house. And then, oh, can you not reach that? Ooh. Here, maybe we move this into the kitchen. All right, there you go. We got some music going. There, you can relax and dance a little bit late at night in your kitchen <laughs> after a tough day of repairing. She feels so uncomfortable. Oh, she got hurt while she was <laughs> repairing. I think she's doing pretty great for someone who doesn't know what she's doing. <laughs> I'll be honest. We're gonna dance until she's feeling a little bit better and then we'll have her head to sleep. Feeling fulfilled, Mallory checks one more task off the list of things that she wants to do. She wants to host a party. I feel like our ultimate goal here would be to fix up this place and host like a welcoming party. Maybe it doesn't have to be the whole place, but at least make it feel presentable and everything and then we can maybe get to know some people here and host a party because she's very much a party girl she's love throwing parties i believe she's yeah she still still have the party animal trait i don't think she's like a super huge party animal like she was obviously she's had to tone it down very much so since uh she's become a mom but her last like big party was her halloween party whoa okay robot which is probably like the best party I've ever hosted in The Sims ever. Actually, well, her and Gia did have her their birthday party, but I still think the Halloween party was like tops it all. But I think it's time we head to sleep because she's getting tired. Let's turn this off and go to sleep. All right, we gotta go upstairs and go take care of Jacqueline real quick. Same routine. <laughs> Bless you. Oh, she wants to have a kid? Wait, I'm actually surprised. I didn't think she wanted- Her hands are full right now. <laughs> she doesn't need a kid right now. <laughs> By any means. Let's see if we can tackle this toilet and get it fixed. Because, I'll be honest, I'm sick of hearing the water spilling out. So, <laughs> let's see if we can just get this fixed up real quick. I know that you don't like it. I understand. Alright. Well, she successfully finished that as well. 
So now we are all fixed up, thankfully. She's like so happy. She's like, let me kick this ball around a little bit. <laughs> I think I might just order something. There's no way we're gonna eat another day worth of cold pizza. We deserve something better <laughs> for breakfast. So let's see what we can get. Can we get anything sort of breakfast-like? We can order in pancakes. Let's order them. Actually, you know what? Let's do a family size because then she can save it for later. I know, hun. You'll get some food coming soon. After we eat breakfast, I do want to try and do some tummy time with Jacqueline because obviously we need to work on her motor skills and all that stuff because we haven't done too much, I don't believe. We need to work on rolling over, so there is that. Is that our food? Oh, yep. My god, my pancakes. Oh, you didn't even put it in a bag? You're just gonna hold it like that? I mean, it's fine. I'll eat it anyways. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. And we'll put the rest away after you finish. You feeling any better? Are the pancakes not- Oh, look, there's a smile. Uh -huh. She keeps thinking about her dad. Maybe it's- Maybe we gotta call him. But like, don't tell him about the place and how rough it is because then he's gonna be worried and we don't want that. So let's go ahead and chat. It's like, hey dad. You know, things are going so well, but in her mind she's like, this place is trash. <laughs> hey, everything's great. <laughs> But really, it's not, so. I think we're gonna head outside. We'll probably go in the backyard and hang out over here with Jacqueline. Now, she did also bring her little uh, play mat, so we're probably gonna get that unpacked as well, and we can come out here with her. Oh, she does need a little bit of a shower, so maybe we go do that real quick. Oh, she's feeling bored. I know, honey. Well, party withdrawal is gonna happen, so we're not gonna worry about that. Today's a little bit more windier. Um, I did notice that I think that this world seems to have more wind i believe i don't know if because i remember when i was playing a little bit off camera it was also really windy which i don't mind because i feel like i don't see wind that often i really love being able to see like the grass move and the flowers trees everything like that oh she's singing in the shower now that's a plus because she used to be crying in the shower why are you crying Awake for too long? Well then sleep. Actually, honey, you're gonna be going outside, so we need some fresh air, okay? Oh, I think the shower thing is broken because it doesn't even have like the bar going and like saying that she's done. Oh, you wanna bake? We can bake. Now that our stuff is fixed. She probably won't be able to last too long on tummy time, but any time counts. All right, we're finally entering the backyard, which she hasn't explored very much at all yet. Oh. Gonna place her down. All right. Were you just tapping your belly? Is that what she just did? No, it's okay. You're so fine. Don't even worry. All right. Why is this so cute? <laughs> I actually am so happy that we decided to pick Mallory for this series because I had a completely different plan as to who I was gonna do for this. Well, not like, I, like it was gonna be a new Sam. It was gonna be a similar storyline that we'd follow, but I kind of like the idea of her coming here to grow and also taking on challenges that she wouldn't normally take. So, and then also raising her daughter here too. She's like, mom, please, I'm tired. I don't want to do this anymore. <laughs> okay, we're gonna, we're gonna take her inside. I feel bad. She really just doesn't want to be here. See, she's feeling some good vibes though. Oh, she learned to roll over. Okay, we'll see, maybe it wasn't all bad. See, you, even with frustration, you did it. <laughs> I'm proud of you. Okay, so let's see what next we have for her. She's like running home. She's like, I'll get you inside as soon as possible. Oh yeah, she's not even doing that great either. So we gotta work on that. Um, so now we have to roll over to tummy and then I think eventually we'll have to start feeding her like proper baby food. Oh, she is so upset. Okay, I know, honey, I know. All right, oh, she's like, I'm gonna feed you. You'll be good. 
She's already getting tired as well. I think I'm actually gonna go ahead and wrap this episode up here. I know it's a bit of a slow start, but that's just how it is because it's first episode and two, I want it to feel like a realistic start for her. Like I don't think she'd be going out and meeting people right off the bat. So I'm excited for next episode though. So I hope you guys are as well. I can't wait to see Mallory's journey here in Chestnut Ridge. So with that being said, that is it for this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did enjoy, don't forget to consider a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll talk to you guys in a video very soon. Bye guys.